Greetings friends. I have hesitated to share this for some time. For I am quite sure, most will find it very confronting. Nevertheless, these are my realizations. Not to be confused with belief. While it is my preference to be a student in this life, there comes a time when we, as students, will be called upon to share what we have learned. For part of our own personal development is to assist where we can with the development of others. My hope is that my realizations will resonate with some of you as I am compelled to share. Please listen very closely for there is much to absorb in this message. Here's what I know about the so-called disclosure. First, those losing control of this planet, the elite, and their puppet governments, have been given an alternative to stop with the interference of choice via their deception or in a manner of speaking there will be hell to pay the so-called elite of this planet by the way they love that distinction have agreed to disclosure and it is acceptable to our galactic supervisors that they do it their own way as long as it is accurate and is done without delay their way being an in your face presentation such as all the new TV or as I refer to it tell a vision shows and movies they are not required to admit to anything directly for they will be judging themselves soon enough instead they are to present the truth to the masses and it is up to the masses to conclude whether it's fact or fiction they are also releasing older classified documents but restricting access to them to only the limited few at one time and in huge quantities which they are hoping will result in taking years to go through documents where the perpetrators are long gone escaping prosecution etc it's important to understand how the galactic community views earthlings slash mankind as the humans on this planet are now known at the level zero apex just before their induction to the galactic community responsible for this solar system and the galaxy to which it is a part remembering that their perspective comes from a much more complete knowledge of this universe and how it really works part of this knowledge is the fact that this one lifetime is not of a huge concern respectively however the need for solid matter bodies for the incarnation and reincarnation process of souls is a concern hence the well-known phrase grow and multiply in short this very dense 3d universe is basically a big experiment this experiment required some testing as it had never been done before there needed to be a 3d equally dense solid matter body that could sustain an individual soul in order for it to duplicate itself and at the same time be worthy of same this would require a very long and complicated process of development so by way of mathematics which is part of a trinity meaning one cannot exist without the other two the perpetual number three the three M's mass mathematics magnetics which all things reside within and all things originate levels of development were defined 10 to be exact starting with zero each level takes many lifetimes of development to move to the next with each new level higher frequency comes DNA changes 
resulting in less density and more brain activation. With this brain activation and DNA changes, come new and different abilities. Anyway, back to the perspective of higher and more intelligent beings. You see? They don't see us as we do. They see us as we are. Individual creators at our beginning stages. Here's the thing. When this experiment was first set up, they, the creators of this universe, manipulated the solid matter bodies of several different species slash creatures, which were first seeded and allowed to develop through the natural design of evolution over billions of years. Then those with the most potential were manipulated giving them the ability to sustain and function with individuality. For this to happen, choice had to be part of the scenario, so duality had to exist. Hence the eternal battle within us. I had to explain all this, in short, in order to explain another battle, and why the need for all the Creator souls. Well, it turned out, that the humanoid structure was by far the most viable due to its inherent warm-blooded tendencies example very emotional big mood swings allowing for faster development so you have the other intelligent species who understand this process some admire others resent the humanoid races some seek out the primitive, less developed, trying to find ways to incorporate, via their own genetic manipulations, in an effort to blend these desired tendencies, into their own species. All part of the big picture. The goal, for all species, is to populate this universe. Now of course, the more egocentric slash underdeveloped of these species wish for their own races to become the majority which mathematically can't happen but they can't accept this the higher developed among them understand this and just try and keep their offspring in check with choice always as the priority and the truth is we will all get there and be merged anyway, because we all came from the same creation, and are all part of the same project. Part of the reason, for this brief summary, is to help with the understanding, that it's important, very important, that mankind, gain a respect for the differences of the individuals among their own races, so they may be able to respect the differences, of other races, within the different species they are about to encounter in a much more identifiable and undeniable manner the reason for the blending of our different species is twofold one is their hope to speed up their own spiritual development thereby having a better chance of becoming the majority within this universe and at the same time slow down the population of the competing species this does not make them evil, more like superfluous, or indifferent towards the purpose of others. Their purpose being more significant, from their perspective. I am pretty sure, Earthlings feel the same way. It's important to gain an understanding in regards to the differences of others. It's about different levels of development. Anyway, back to disclosure. There are many ways to deceive, and it would appear that the so-called elite, are aware and implementing most of them. I intend, to shine light on some of them, so you may more clearly see and identify them. Some have been used for thousands of years, like redirecting words or phrases. This is where different words and phrases, are introduced, with the sole purpose of directing the mind in the wrong direction, away from the truth. This starts in our homes and schools. And unless discovered, or questioned, stay with the mind 
throughout one's entire lifetime, keeping them in darkness without their even knowing it. Answer to this problem. The realization of this fact. Observation of self, paying attention to one's own internal interpreter, which is located in both the heart and gut chakras, manifested by way of feelings, both physical and emotional. For more in this regard, please watch my video. Expanding your intuitive abilities. I will include a link in the description. And by way of a card in the upper right corner of this video. Another solution is prevention. Do not allow others to impose such on you, and especially not your children. Remove them from this influence including removing your children from your churches and their schools, offering more supervision of input. This will also allow your children to thrive. Watch them. Put your responsibility for their well-being first. You will be amazed as to what you will learn from them. Things in and about them, things pure most deceptions and distractions are now administered by way of your televisions or tell a vision that's correct you are paying for your own family's programming and conditioning i don't think i need to say any more about that except to say you and your children can learn all you need to know by simply having access to themselves and the internet at this point I will end this video and based on the reaction by way of comments decide if or what to share next thank you for your attention and I look forward to your comments cheers